Aquarius, welcome. It's your heart spread. It's for November 2021. This reads, uh, who's on your mind? And you could say, who's in your heart? Using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot. Here in Cancun, on my back deck, on a hopefully remaining quiet Sunday afternoon. I hope you can hear me, because, I don't know, it feels like so quiet here uh, the peace like I don't want to disturb it I do want you to be able to hear me though so let's a card read a look at you and this person's on your mind and see what's going on with you guys get advice from spirit and an outcome let's go ends up in the shape of a heart why well, I call it the heart spread ace of swords this is your energy Kind of have a baseline here where you're at in the around relationships in and of yourself um and i think when you're in the ace swords energy um you come you come into all your relationships like with your tip of your sword first it's an element of it and it's thoughts and communication but it you make it known and know in certain terms like what the boundaries and limits are that you have you know and I think that's usually because, you know, you've learned that you maybe have to do that. You've had so many issues in the past. Um, so you could call it, too, coming in. It's it, I don't know if it's really a chip on the shoulder because it's like this would be like you're aware. You're basically telling people I really have zero tolerance like or anything, not any nonsense at all. It could be like that. Um, and, you know. A lot of people would be like, well, fine. I don't have any tolerance for nonsense either. But let's talk. So it's nothing wrong. Now, five of wands. Now, here you go. Your person's coming in with a combative energy. I kind of see this from the past, too. Um, they've been in a position where they felt like they had to fight and argue. Sometimes this can be bickering and fighting in this kind of way. That's, you know, not... They're just, you know, boys say they're practicing and they're boys and everything um, it's not vicious maybe like the five of swords but usually it shows uh, the feeling of it underlying some kind of confrontational energy um, let's see how you're reacting to them because I don't know well you're not only the knight of cups you're facing towards them knight of cups this is where you're at about them, how you're feeling about them, how you're reacting to them. You want to give them your cup. And to go from the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Cups is pretty strong because the Ace of Swords, someone, they, it's kind of like you already know what you wanted. Like you had it written down. You're like, you know, um, um, and once you see it, um, then you want to go with this Knight of Cups. So it could be a type of situation here, Aquarius, where they're kind of going through um, what maybe you went through in the more past or recent past, and they're kind of going through it now, where they're having to kind of really establish boundaries and, you know, um, have these very difficult um, actions, wants. So someone taking actions, not just words, like they're still involved in it. And maybe you feel compassion for that because you, you see maybe you went through this process. Something like that with the Knight of Cups, you know. Um, now, with your person, they go to a Two of Wands and how they're thinking about you. This clearly implies here, Aquarius, that your person, uh, in the way they're reacting to you, I say this is favorable, but they are involved with someone else, and that's what this fighting is about. So you could have, like, literally be falling in love with them uh, in the, as their relationship is disintegrating. Maybe this happens over some period of time for them. Um, but in two of ones is a lot of passion too. Let me clarify that spirit. Death card. So it's like this person knows that to choose you is to choose this transformation. It's going to really turn their life upside down. And, um, you know, I feel like they're going to do that. You certainly are giving them every reason to do it. If there was a cross-watcher, uh, your Aquarius here is uh, 
not someone to kid around to start with, and they seriously are bringing you their cup of love. Very sincere. Now this is your advice towards them, and I gotta give you this advice like this, get back, because the tower's gonna fall. Like if you know the tower's gonna fall, Aquarius, get back, and so that means, I think, like, stop poking at it, like, just be there for them, I mean, like, it's coming down, it's coming down anyway, so, like, don't associate yourself, this is an important part of this reading, don't associate yourself, because you could, you can say, well, I'll tell you, it's going to come down, like, for instance, you know, uh, or but maybe don't, uh, and kind of get some distance, and let that, that's their side of the street, that's their karma, um, that, you know, it really, you don't even need to get mixed up in it. And um, probably this relationship is destined. There's probably some Pluto stuff going on. Uh, I'd be interested to look at the first meeting chart for a relationship like this. If you know the time, especially in the date. Depends on how romantic you are, Aquarius. <laughs> <coughs> I have it. Nine of Cups. This is your partner's advice here. This person here is on your mind, your thoughts. Maybe in your heart. You know, and that's definitely, they're going to need a period of uh, bachelorhood, uh, being becoming emotionally available. It's coming underneath death is really what we're clarifying this two of wands with. You know, their relationship's going to end. They're going to need a, a period of this healing. The big takeaway for you is, like, you can love them and still, like, stand back and let uh, them deal with the tower. And uh, look at it this way, when, when it's over, if you decide, you know, um, you're going to be in an even better position to help because you, you're not now, you, you won't become part of the rubble on the, their tower. And I mean, it would serve nothing if you did, you know. So I would look at it as a bad thing, just step away, <laughs> right? Six of Pentacles, you got to be flexible, man, you know. Um, this is the advice for relationship as a whole. So, I mean, I, I couldn't be any better. It's at the crux of the heart spreads, like the scales here, the two people you're both getting, you're both giving. Um, there's a real balance here. Um, it's, it's pinnacles, so it's something solid. And um, there could be, too, a period of waiting involved. So you know, you've got to figure if this person's getting free and really be, this is becoming like emotionally secure in themselves. And so that they can receive your Knight of Cups. But it shows here together that you guys can bring a real balance to each other too. So Six of Pentacles would be focusing on practical things from money, home, finances. Um, anything that's practical and helps you. Uh, and particularly even with money and finances and maybe sharing them. And this is your outcome, the Four of Cups. And this comes between the knight of your knight of cups and their death and two of wands. You're looking at a period of uh, four weeks, probably four months in judgment. I'm going to call that the final outcome on this four of cups. Um, and it's going to be a judgment. But I think here, this is going to be your judgment, um, Aquarians. This is your judgment. Maybe not even four months, four weeks. Um, this period of time. It's like by stepping away and saving yourself from the rubble of the tower falling, um, you kind of uh, save your uh, strength. And then you will focus it upon this judgment. And when you move forward then, you know, it's like, like this. You, this person right now, you really don't know what you would be attaching yourself to or who you would be loving. I mean, it could be in that deep of a throes and plus this other stuff to have to take care of, um, you know, whereas given this time and ability to stabilize, um, there will come an opportunity. I mean, it, it, it's the outcome for both of you. So it's like, to me, at that point, you would then be able to make a, a decision both of you uh, emotionally in a very uh, balanced way with the six of pentacles 
you know, it does speak about this time, though, you know, six weeks, two pentacles, six months, um, you know, um, but it would be a period of time that would tend to bring you together and not bring you apart, particularly physically bring you together, guys. But let me know what you think of this. Um, uh, do check out the Soul Family Read if you haven't. That's uh, also up uh, every day for the weekend. Uh, still up right now. And tomorrow we'll have a fresh one just for whoever resonates. Spirituality and manifestation more, guys. Thank you.